Hey, welcome back to Play and Trade Guitars. I'm John, and this is another edition of On the Bench. Thanks for being here. Today we're talking vintage Gretsch, 1962, 6119 Tennessean. In fact, this is the exact same guitar, exact same year, owned by none other than George Harrison. Well, not his actual guitar, but the same model in the same year. George Harrison was a huge fan of Gretsch. In fact, he started out his first American guitar that he owned was a 1957 Gretsch Duo Jet. He moved on to a Country Gentleman, which was actually destroyed, sadly, fell off the top of his car and was run over and destroyed. But uh, also in the mix there was this gorgeous uh, 6119 Tennessee, and he was a huge fan of Chet Atkins and Gretsch, and Gretsch was put on the map when the Beatles appeared on the Ed Sullivan Show with that country gentleman, and it revolutionized sales for Gretsch. In fact, they kicked out a drum room and expanded part of their warehouse in New York to make more Gretsch guitars because the guitar boom was full on, Beatles mania was here, the British Invasion was here, and this guitar that I'm about to uncase right now was the exact same model that George Harrison owned. At the top, make sure you're subscribe to Play and Trade Guitars. We are giving away a Gibson Custom Shop Les Paul. Check it out. When we hit 50,000 subscribers, one of you will win this beautiful Les Paul. So make sure you do it. Thanks for being a guitar player and trader. Let's open these latches and get to work. Let's do it. Get a load of this cowboy case. Beautiful white with leather stitch design here all the way around. Case shows its wear for sure, but uh, it's part of the vibe, part of the vintage charm. All right, what do you say we flip those latches and get to work? All right, this, my friends, is a 1962 Gretsch 6119 Tennessean. Same guitar owned by none other than George Harrison. Inlaid Gretsch on the headstock, bone nut, zero fret, thumbnail inlays on this beautiful rosewood fretboard. Beautiful piece of wood, look at the top on that. Two Hylotron pickups, a floating bridge, Bigsby tailpiece, two painted F-holes on this guitar, master volume, pickup selector, tone circuit engagement, on off kill switch, the scary Gretsch kill switch. Volumes for the pickups, look at that beautiful back, beautiful piece of wood. Serial number 45113, this was on stage, check it out, Shea Stadium, it was there, not this one, but George Harrison's actual guitar sold for $179,000 at auction. This same guitar, same model, same year, in 2015. This one is as close as you can get. In fact, maybe it was made side by side on the assembly line in New York. There's so many things I love about this guitar. Look at this beautiful Bigsby on here. And what I really like is that the binding is completely intact all over on this guitar. Sometimes on the older Gretches, you don't get that. Sometimes on the older Gretches, it's completely falling apart. In this case, that is just not true. This thing was a one owner guitar and it is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful condition. So Gretches were made in New York until Baldwin acquired the company and they moved production to Arkansas in uh, 1966 or 1967, at which point you'll start to see made in USA and a serial number on the back of the headstock. Uh, but this is a New York original run guitar made in the original Gretsch factory. This is a thinner body. Tennesseans in the 50s were actually thicker and then again in the early 60s, they thinned out the body. George Harrison dug that, got himself one of these. Super light, we'll get all the specs. We'll take a deep dive on this guitar. Let's take it apart. With that slack off, we do have to remember that this is a floating bridge. That's gonna wanna come off once we loosen these strings out. Pull that mess off the Bigsby here. And while we're kind of digging into this guitar, I'm going to go ahead and condition the fretboard now. Be using Diodario Hydrate. All right, we'll leave that to condition for a moment and swing over here. The first thing we can really take a look at is this floating bridge, which just sits on the guitar. And carefully lift this up. So we got a wood floating bridge sits right here on the guitar so it's a 24 and a half scale length guitar and then on top we have this pretty heavy piece of probably steel which is grooved and notched for the strings you can see that we've had some uv aging because you can see the original darker finish underneath that uh, tailpiece there which is pretty cool 
And then we can lift up the Bigsby and take a look. Original finished color there before it UV aged. We'll take off this pick guard so that we can take a look at the pickups. There's no other body cavity to access the electronics except the pickup cavities. Gretsch pick guard, very cool. Let's take a look at these pickups. Stubby little screws here. Try to carefully remove these pickup rings if we can. This one is cracked, so I just gotta be really careful here. All right, so these hylotrons are, are screwed directly into the body. With two long screws. Really kind of interesting. Got yeah, basically the ring, the Gretsch logo, and then you can see the actual inner workings of the pickup here. Real gentle. Really pretty cool. So basically we have a harness here that sits inside the hollow body guitar. That is really cool. It's like DH and one. Really, really incredible stuff though, look at that. Give you a glimpse of that fretboard, which is conditioning. Really, really beautiful. Throw a little contact cleaner in the pots and switches. Take these knobs off and check those out. So that Gretsch logo knob, which is so sharp. Without that fretboard condition. All right, well, we've taken it apart, we cleaned it up, now let's get some specs. What a piece of history. Six pounds, 15 ounces. Light guitar. Let's get a reading on those pickups. So we're 2.9, 1.4, on the nut, two inches, 24 and a half. All right, that is a wrap for this absolutely gorgeous one owner, 1962 Gretsch 6119 Tennessean. This was the same exact guitar that George Harrison played with the Beatles among his collection of Gretsches. And uh, this is just an absolute beaut, a piece of wood. Everything about this guitar is just dead on, gorgeous and perfect. Thanks for watching this edition of On The Bench. Make sure you're subscribed. That Les Paul right there is gonna go to one of you when we hit 50,000 subscribers on Play and Trade Guitars. Thanks for all your support and drop a comment below. What do you think of this beautiful dream guitar, this 1962 Gretsch 6119 Chet Atkins Tennessean? <laughs>